my name is Cheyenne. I'm a child and youth family support worker here at the Caribou Chilcotin Child Development Center, and this is my coworker Derek, who's going to teach me how to paint some rocks. Hi, so my name is Derek Godin. Um, I'm a child and youth care worker as well um, with the Child Caribou Chilcotin Child Development Center here in Wimsley. Um, so I do paint a lot, but this is something a little new and different for me. I don't usually paint rocks. So um, first off, I guess, um, if picking rocks, so we have all kinds of different rocks here. Um, you're probably going to want to focus on picking smooth, like smooth rocks, not porous rocks. Um, more like these ones that are nice and flat, and not so much like this one with all the bumps and lumps and holes and stuff like that. Um, so while you're picking rocks, you can pick rocks during lots of different times. Um, say if you're at home doing work and you're getting stressed out or whatever, then you can you know, go for a walk, pick, pick up some rocks. Um, or you can use it family time. So if you and your significant other and your kids go out for a walk or whatever, then you can find some nice rocks, pick, pick them up and bring them home. Um, as well as it could also be a calming activity and uh, or even during exercise. So if you're going out for a jog or whatever and you see some rocks or anything like that, then you know you can grab them. So we have a few different examples of what can be done. Um, we have some sharks, some superhero logos. Uh, we've got a little flower or two, some minions and some inspirational sayings as well as a little pool trailer. So that, that one's more for the adults that like to go camping and stuff like that. But And then over there we have a big pink monster and a Snoopy, a flower, a cat, and another inspirational little heart. So we'll start off by what do you need to set up? So you're gonna need uh, some acrylic paints and brand doesn't matter as long as they're acrylic. Um, you're gonna need water. I use two usually because I like to use one for my whites and light colors and I use one for my dark colors as well so that doesn't mix it up if you're painting something dark on white. Um, as well as your brushes. We have lots of different kinds of brushes. Liners, fillers, dotters, um, fans, all kinds of different stuff. And the rocks. So, and, and these are all paints and brushes that you can pick up from the dollar store, so nice, cheap, and easy. Um, so, we have, I've kind of pre-done some here, just so we can move a little faster. And I, what I've done is I've just taken a pencil and drawn some designs on them. So there's that. And, and like that one. Here's a minion. So you can do a little prep and get them ready beforehand so that you have some designs set out and ready to go. And then from there, depending on, I find that if you have dark rocks like this, it's usually better to go ahead and paint them white. Otherwise your bright colors, like your yellows, oranges, and reds, they don't transfer as well and they, come, they look kind of muddy. So like if you look at this red on here compared to say the red on there it's just a lot darker and kind of dirtier looking so you want to usually paint those rocks white so that they have nice vibrant colors okay so next then you can get into your painting in general so for something like this um, I'd use very bright, vibrant colors. So that's what I've got out here. Purples, oranges, pinks, greens, blues, just really bright colors. And Cheyenne, she is... Got this pointy rock Got a pointy here. rock, so I think she's gonna go more sharp. I am. So more like that one. So and if you don't have any ideas yourself, you can find ideas on the internet all over the place. Um, I get most of mine from the internet, so. I don't, it's pretty hard sometimes to come up with a, a lot of different ideas, so. Um, 
But with Cheyenne, we're gonna start. So if she's doing the shark. You're gonna to wanna to start by doing a triangle right here. That one. So start with the white. Oh, interesting. A little pointed triangle there. Yep. And sometimes it may take one or two coats of white or any other color to cover, so. Yeah, definitely would be easier with a smooth rock. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll get started on mine while you do that. The white is dried on mine and it looks like Cheyenne's as well, so yeah. she's just going to start by painting the white teeth into the red area and then do two little black dots for eyes. And then the rock will be done. And then I tend to put uh, little white dots and the black dots, just they're called life, life light. Yeah. So it gives it that kind of alive look. So we'll let her go on with that. Um, so with mine, I'm gonna pick some really bright colors here. And a little orange. And try to pick, I don't know, three or four different colors and then space them out so you go, I'll do, I'll do three colors. We'll go one, so two, three, and I'll do that one. One, two, three. Let's see if it works out. And look at that, it did. So every time you finish with a color, clean your brush and dry it off. Make sure all the paint's out of it. And then you can move on to your next color. So next color will go bright green. And the same thing. How you doing, Shan? Good. Just about to do the eyes. And like I said before, you may have to do two coats. So this coat doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, because you're gonna use your second coat to clean everything up. And what goes good with green and orange? Do a dark purple. And of course, you can choose any colors you want. You can get all these paints fairly easily, either at the dollar store or any craft store around. We'll have the paints and the brushes. So um, another thing that you're gonna want to need or gonna need is uh, either something like uh, paint markers or a sharpie. Um, if you can't find small enough paint brushes. Um, to do your lining like I have that one's pretty small that one as well is pretty small and that's what I use to do my lines around the outside so but you can always use a sharpie as well All right. so, looks good there you go yeah there we go that's done just definitely make sure to make sure to make sure that, to let it dry because I kind of smudged it a bit. <laughs> so I've got one more step left on my rock, but first we'll kind of, we'll talk about, so um, we encourage like if you do end up doing some of these, then we encourage you guys to, you know, take pictures of them. You can send them to us at the Child Development Center. Uh, the link will be at the end of the video, um, as well as go around the community and if you want to do inspirational messages like say like that one love or be unique uh, another heart stuff like that one you can go around and leave them leave them around town for other people to find so that they can read your inspirational messages and 
maybe you can make make somebody's day that much better.